Volkswagen just unveiled the new ID7, and this thing has to be one of the prettiest electric cars I have ever seen. The giant German automaker announced the ID7 back in January, revealing the car at CES, though the version on display in Las Vegas was covered in a special digital camouflage, so it was hard to tell what the ID7 really looked like. But the wrapper has been removed and we can finally see this sleek sedan in all its glory. And here it is. Not too bad, eh? I really love this car's clean and elegant design. Now, if you look closely, there's a bit of Tesla Model 3 in the windshield, and I absolutely love that sort of curving line that runs along the side of the body that really brings to mind a car like the Audi A5 Coupe, which of course is absolutely beautiful. And I just, I love the restraint here. There's no tacked on trim, no superfluous creases. Volkswagen designers knew when to put the pencil down. They knew when this design was set. Getting a little closer, the ID7's front end looks shockingly normal. It's not just an empty space like on a lot of other EVs. Now up front we also have a lower air intake with some active elements, basically a flapper door that will open when additional cooling is needed and then it closes again to improve aerodynamics. Along the sides of the car, there are flared sills that prevent air from flowing underneath the body. I love the sweeping roof line that terminates practically at the end of the trunk. They really stretch this out. And at the rear, it's very uncluttered with a nice LED strip connecting the tail lamps. Now I will say this, the back end does look a bit too tall and narrow, and really this is the car's only unflattering angle. This sedan is the latest member of VW's ID family, and it serves as a flagship model. The car follows in the tire tracks of the ID3, ID4, ID5, the China market ID6, and of course the retro-inspired ID Buzz. Predictably, the ID7 is built on Volkswagen's MEB electric vehicle architecture, though it does feature a brand new powertrain, but more on that in just a minute. The ID7's most logical competitor is probably the Ionic 6. It's another all-electric sedan, albeit one with much more adventurous styling. Now, I do like the looks of the Hyundai, though I think I prefer the Volkswagen, plus I think the ID7 is going to age a lot better. Cementing their rivalry, the ID7 and Ionic 6 are pretty much the same size. This car is about 195 inches long from bumper to bumper, about four inches greater than the Hyundai. The wheelbase is roughly 117 inches, which is right in line with the Ionic 6. These cars are both roughly the same width and height, though the ID7 does have a significant advantage when it comes to trunk space. It's got about 18.8 .8 cubic feet, opposed to the Hyundai, which has just 11.2. However, the Ionic 6 does win some points back because it should DC fast charge much quicker. So two versions of the ID7 are expected to be offered. There's the Pro and then the Pro S, the latter of which is expected to go on sale in Europe at a later date. But either way, these cars feature a newly designed powertrain. They have a rear mounted unit that incorporates the electric motor, the single speed gearbox, and of course, the power inverter all into one package. And that should get you 282 horsepower and up to 402 pound feet of torque. As for batteries, Pro models get an 82 kilowatt hour pack that has a usable capacity of 77 kilowatt hours. Pro S models will feature a 91 kilowatt hour battery pack that has a usable capacity of 86. And overall, these specs are pretty similar to the Ionic 6, but the Hyundai will DC fast charge much quicker. You see, the ID7's small battery pack will top out at 170 kilowatts, and the larger one is expected to top out at 200. For reference, the Ionic 6 should do around 235 kilowatts. But either way, this car should offer fairly impressive range. It sounds like in the U.S. we're only going to get the smaller battery pack, at least initially, and they're targeting a 300-mile range in EPA testing. Matching its streamlined exterior, the ID7 features a suitably modern cabin. This interior is elegantly designed and surprisingly spacious. There's a small digital instrument cluster right ahead of the driver. You also get a standard augmented reality head-up display and a standard dimmable smart glass roof. 
A 14-speaker Harman Kardon sound system is available, as are 14-way adjustable front seats that are heated, ventilated, and offer massage functionality. Plus, there's an automatic climate setting with sensors for temperature and moisture? Yeah, they said moisture. So apparently the idea is these chairs will automatically adjust to varying conditions, but still, that does sound kind of weird. But the biggest story here is the new 15-inch touchscreen. The infotainment system that runs in there has a completely new menu structure. The HVAC, as well as the seat heating, ventilation, and massage controls are now always visible, so they're much easier to hit. Plus, the touch sliders are now backlit. Another very smart move. That's long overdue. The new Volkswagen ID7 will be assembled in Emden, Germany for both Europe and North America, and the car is expected to go on sale in the old world starting this fall. However, drivers in both China and the U.S. will have to wait until next year before they can get behind the wheel of a new ID7. Next up, watch my full review of the Genesis Electrified G80. Just like the ID7, it is a battery-powered sedan, and it's a pretty phenomenal option if I do say so myself. It's comfortable, drives well, and offers loads of features, so check that video out by clicking right over here.